looking off the back deck of our apartment and it is a beautiful day. No clouds in the sky. Those little wisps that you see there, someone's burning some leaves on the street behind us. But it is a gorgeous day. And on this day, we'll be firing up the grill. Oh yes, my friends. Grilling will happen tonight. I don't know. I have to figure out what we want to grill. Rachel's thinking hot dogs. I'm thinking burgers, thinking chicken. Maybe we'll do all three. We'll have to see. But for now, I'm going to keep cleaning this grill. Well, hello there, Mr. Hockey Gnome with Al the Octopus on your head. Now, some of you actually use grill cleaner or grill cleaning fluid on your grill. Not me. I actually clean out the uh, stuff from the bottom of the grill. But as far as the grill grates go, I only just kind of scrape these off with this little brush you see here. Keep the grill from, you know, uh, rusting up. You know, those natural oils and grease on the grill. So, let's do this top one now. Just a few times over. Our little thermometer outside says it's 60 degrees. Now, bear in mind, our deck is in the shade and the sun is right over here, high in the sky to my right. So we're in the shade right now. I don't know what the actual air temperature is, but that's gotta be close. And here it is, late February, 60 degree weather, perfect for grilling. Let me just throw their seed all over the deck so I have to clean it up. But I did look at the weather, and the Weather Channel says it's 59 degrees and sunny. And I agree with them. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Feels like spring, but it's still winter. Wash the windows. Clean them all down. Look at that reflection. Look at that blue sky. Oh, hello, Mr. Mickey. It's shower time. Okay, it's time to hop in the shower and get this scraggly beard all cleaned up, get the hair cleaned up, and then head out to Meyer and pick up all the ingredients for all the stuff we're gonna grill tonight and have dinner. So, I'm gonna hop in the shower, get cleaned up. I'll see you guys when I get back out. Here we are, headed to my favorite grocery store. Now that I'm inside of Meyer, they have a whole new section called Mercato Italiano. And it's everything that you ever need to make great Italian dishes. There's wines and sauces. I mean, look at this. They have everything. This Italian cheese dressing looks really good. Oh man, let's we'll try that out sometime. All the different pastas that they have. I mean, look at these. Those kind of look like uh, communion wafers. Spiral pastas. Boy, Meyer really stepped up their game. Oh, look at all these different sauces. Pasta sauce with mushrooms. Eggplants. Yum. Different kinds of espresso and coffees. And chocolates to kind of go along with that. I like the name of this uh, candy coated almond. Snob. And lemon flavor too as well. I like almonds, and I love coffee. It's quite a big section here. A little empty in the center, but I think they're going to have room for improvement. They may add even more. And normally this section is set aside for the holiday stuff. Normally you'll have Christmas stuff here, or Halloween stuff, but this is all dedicated to Italian foods. And they have their grills out front and center, and all their grilling supplies supplies it is definitely that time of year the weather is bringing out the grillers and so are we oh, I always like to come through the toy section and see what they have and they have a Kylo Ren and a K2SO from Rogue One. Oh yeah I think Kylo Ren will complement our ray that we have on our shelf very, very well. I'm getting excited for episode 8. 
I love coming through the toy section because especially when you have kids, uh, especially with Avery, it gives me a chance to go through all the toy aisles and look and see what's new and all the new products that they have. Like look at all the additions to these Moana collection. Really, really love that movie. How fun is that? Look at this. That's cool. And I love Moana and her canoe and there's Hey Hey. This is actually the first product I've seen on the shelves from the new Beauty and the Beast movie. Oh, how awesome. You know what? We're Disney fanatics. We'll add it to the collection. Now I'm here to pick up stuff for dinner, but I need to get out of this toy, toy aisle really quick. Otherwise I'm gonna keep buying stuff. Ground ancho chili powder was hard to find, but I found it. Going past the center aisle, look at all these adorable lint rabbits. And a perfect roll, little chocolate soldiers. Now on the hunt for some sliced pineapple. And I think I found it right here. Wunderbar. Now it's over to find some avocados. I need three avocados. All right, let's find some good ones here. Got to find one that's a little soft, and these ones are all pretty hard. A good avocado should actually be a little soft, and these ones are a little hard, so, hmm, I don't know. Two items on the list were a yellow pepper and a red pepper. The avocados are a little too hard for our liking, so I'm going to check another store and see if we can't find some ripe ones. But, on to the next thing. All right, some fresh cilantro is on the list. Mmm, I wish you guys could smell this with me. Gorgeous and green. And what burger is not complete without some beef? We'll get some ground beef, 80-20. All right. Looking for the perfect bun, and I found them. Got some big old Kaiser buns to hold that big old burger we're gonna make later. Thankfully, I don't have a lot in my cart, so I can hit the express lane, or the fast pass lane. <laughs> a little Disney reference. Does the fast pass lane work for you, Mickey? Why, well, sure does. <laughs> uh, I love Disney. I love everything about Disney. I can't wait to go back to Disney. I think everyone had the same idea because the hot dog bun and the uh, hamburger bun aisle was just <laughs> just ravaged. There was not a, lot, not a whole lot left, so I'm going to head out of here and start checking out right now. It's a little windy out. Here's your pro tip, kids. Always make sure you return your shopping cart back to where it belongs in the cart corral. Just makes her job easier. Plus you feel better about yourself for taking care of something. Boy, it's hard to want to get back into the car and leave all this fresh air. It's gonna be a perfect night for grilling. All right, goodbye, Meyer. The quest to find ripe avocados continues here at Kroger. All right, here I am in the produce section at Kroger. Looking for avocados. Let's see if we can't find us some ripe ones. Aha. Here are the avocados. I think I found some ripe ones. These ones feel a lot better. A little bit more squished to them. We found ourselves some ripe avocados. Perfect. I would say that is three good ripened avocados. Perfect. I'm going to pick myself up some aged white cheddar for my burger. Rachel's going to go without the cheese, but... I think this will be good. All right, now that I got my avocados and I have my cheese, it's time to check out and head home and start making dinner. So this is going to be the chipotle mayo, correct? Spicy mayo. Just Spicy like. mayo. So what's in this now? Um, there is three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Uh, one, it says a half a teaspoon di diced chipotle pepper and adobo sauce, but I use just one whole pepper. Mm. Um, half a quarter teaspoon paprika, a quarter teaspoon garlic powder, and I'm about to put in a teaspoon of lime juice. A teaspoon of lime juice, and this is what's going to be spread on the actual bun, correct? Yeah, this is just spicy mayo. It's mm. a condiment. That's good. Freshly squeezed lime in on top of that. We'll mix it up here in just a sec. Here is the next stage of Rachel's concoction. This is the pineapple and pepper relish. Pineapple and pepper relish. Some vibrant colors there. She's got the pineapple in her and then the red pepper, and you're cutting up a yellow pepper right now. Yep, and then you put some cilantro and some lime juice. Mm, let's give this a try with two of these just together. 
Mm. That is good. All right, you said this is the avocado that smash. That is one avocado, um, juice of a lime, quarter teaspoon garlic powder, and salt. And I put a, I like extra salt with my avocado, so I put a lot in. Let's give this stuff a try. There are our burgers pre-pressed. We do have a hamburger press, so I've got the two of my patties here. Rachel's got her two patties here, so I put my chipotle peppers and mixed it in with my burger meat along with the uh, dry ingredients that Rachel made. And Rachel just did the dry ingredients, so I think this is going to be pretty tasty. They're getting ready to head on the grill right now. There they go on the grill. These two are mine. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, Rachel's got hers over here separated because mine's got a little spice to them. And there are the burgers. They are pretty much done. There's Rachel's. We, we got her buns. Ten more degrees to go. Ten more degrees to go. There's our buns on the grill. Those are heating up, getting nice and charred. All right. The lay layer of burgers are as such. You put your spicy mayo down on the buns. And then here's your top there. You're going to put your burger right on top like so. I'm going to put my two. I put my uh, woo, extra sharp cheddar cheese on top. Now, come next is the avocado spread and then the, not the relish, but the salsa. It's we'll, relish. It's a relish, it's okay. Relish. So it's a relish. Good. Look how brightly colored that is. All right. Although our burgers may look extravagant and taste extravagant, Avery has opted for a little mini pizza and some chicken nuggets. So that looks pretty good. What do you think? I think it's going to be delicious. All right, let's have dinner, everybody. I must say, sitting on my plate, this looks really, really good. Now let's give it a taste. Well, dinner was excellent. It was amazing. Those two burgers filled me up. So I'm going to go walk it off. So Avery and I are heading outside, and we're riding. Well, she's riding her bike. I'm walking, you know, taking advantage of the most of this evening. Yep, pool's not open yet. The sun is going down over our apartment complexes. Okay, I don't want to go this way. It is absolutely beautiful have... out. Okay guys, we're going to call it an evening and call it a night. The uh, sun is starting to go down and it's getting a little cooler out. Avery's enjoying her bike ride. I'm enjoying the beautiful evening. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the videos. We put dinner together. Um, the, the description of dinner is down in the description box. So I put a link down in the bottom below so you can follow that same recipe we put together this evening. But thanks for watching. Don't forget, click like, subscribe to my videos. Put a thumbs up in there every now and then. We greatly appreciate the feedback. And until then, you guys enjoy your evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever you may be. This is the Big Red Beard and Avery signing out.